Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here. September 3rd. Yeah, September 3rd. Day before Non Farms. Day before Labor Day weekend. The day that U.S. debt to GDP went over 100%, according to the CBO. Um, interesting times. Interesting times. We got Aussie Yen here. Of course, short Aussie Yen looks the way. Um, we tripped down to 54 yesterday. Back up to 90. Back down to 64. Um, we're making this a tradable short. Bought some, sold some, bought some. You know the drill. Uh, we also like short Kiwi, which is uh, here. Stubborn little fucker, but we feel like this. If you look at this, sort of the weeklies here, we feel like this could very easily um, be kind of your double top or triple top or quadruple top. Or It's an easy place to leave a stop, right? We mysteriously went up there when some Aussie Kiwi was executed over some bad GDP numbers. Dollar's getting stronger. Um, global economy is uh, on its knees. We think Kiwi's gonna gonna suffer eventually here. Uh, we shall see. Dollars are pretty big up day. So now we've had big down, big up, big down, pretty big up. We went all the way up to 94. This is uh, this this type of bizarre price action is usually prelude to a big move. So it's basically fucking everybody, fucking longs, fucking shorts, fucking longs, fucking shorts. It's like a fuck fest. Um, so you want to be on your toes either for a cathartic move way lower or a cathartic move way higher. Um, that's what we see in dollars are. I wish I knew which way. Obviously, my bias is for higher, especially with the general dollar being so bid. Uh, but we shall see. Let's let price dictate it. We're not going to pre. We're not going to pre-trade that cable smashed. And then rose out of the ashes up to 33.44, but now back on one knee. Let's just say doing a little Colin Kaepernick. Um, looks to me like this little dollar bullish phase has a few more days to go. We gotta check out what happens. I guess at non farms. I'm not even sure non farms matters. Perhaps what matters more is today's ISM, services ISM. The U.S. is obviously a service-driven economy, so for me, that's if you care about data, that's important. Talked about long dollar Swiss yesterday. Painful. Painful. Up, down, up, down, up, down. But the upside has won. Uh, now we're going to break this quadruple top on the hourlies and keep surging higher. Kind of looks like we are. No idea why, um, but kind of looks like we are. Long dollar Swiss looks okay. What else is out there? Let's look at Tesla. Tesla went down to 4.03. Now it's and then it closed at four, uh, sort of four fifty. Still down five percent. Um, it's actually quite bullish. The move, the fifty bucks back, uh, or the forty, forty-four bucks back. We played Tesla a little bit on the short side, from fifty down to ten, um, but. We're square Tesla now. Apple, 
We were also short yesterday, uh, 134.70 at the open. Just cut it as a trade. Grabbed sort of four bucks and just cut it. Went down to 126.77, but then again it bounced. So <clears throat> that's kind of, I mean, if you close at the low on a day like that, you are fucked. Uh, but if you bounce like that, I don't know. Somebody's buying that shit. Now let's look at this hysterical moose. I don't know what to say. Makes no sense to me any of this, but boy, bullish fucking day yesterday. Every reason to go down, every godforsaken reason. Tesla crushed, Apple crushed at the open, totally overbought. Heading towards a global recession, uh, massive joblessness, bang, 35 given, 86 paid, 50 handles. Here we are at 74, uh, no idea what to do with this, just watching it, just watching it in disbelief uh, as we continue to do this bullish dance. No, no reason to like take any action. I don't think until we get below thirty-five, thirty. Now, so just watch it, see what's going on. Um, amazing. Gold really hard to stay short yesterday. Obviously, sixty-two given, <clears throat> seventy-eight paid. The sixteen bucks. It's a percent move higher. Let's just check the hourlies. You guys were all there. A lot of you were whinging on Twitter. Like you were victims of some kind of atrocity. It's just trading. You're going to get fucked. It happens. Grow up. Down to 62. Up 78. Just before the numbers. Bang. 60 given. 76 paid, another 16 handle, up move, then finally uh, the waterfall, down to 40, markets long this, people are still searching for dollars, this is probably going to continue, I don't see a great place to, uh, to enter shorts. I'm a little bit fed up with the price action. This trend line, a lot of people have drawn this trend line. Um, a little bit fed up with the price action, right? It's so, so hickory dickory dock. Um, so thin. You know, we trade the futures here. So GCZ yesterday was like three by five. So it's just thin, just hard, just wobbly. But uh, we do think that um, gold has more downside here. Finally, crude. Uh, we didn't trade this. I guess we should have. Uh, break down through 142.35 was pretty straightforward. Bang. Looks pretty offered. Um, looks pretty offered. I, um, I guess you just got to stay short this. Again, amazing that stocks are higher when crude is, is heading that way as well. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Watch out for ISM, uh, short Aussie yen, long dollar Swiss. If you, if you like volatility, try and sell some gold, I guess. Um, and then we'll see, see how the day goes. Good luck out there, people.